Few people know that medications are available to treat alcohol use disorder, the term for the condition that's been called alcoholism and alcohol abuse. While some of these medications have been around for decades, fewer than 10% of the people who could benefit from them use them. You don't have commercials talking about these drugs, says Dr. Stephen Holt, who co-directs the Addiction Recovery Clinic at Yale New Haven Hospital St. Raphael Campus in Connecticut. And primary care doctors tend to shy away from these meds because they weren't trained to use them in med school. Yet medications for alcohol use disorder can work well for people who want to stop drinking or drink a lot less. Medications are the beginning of how you make the psychological change that needs to occur, says Gerard Schmidt, an addiction counselor and president of the Association for Addiction Professionals. There are no medications on the market that are prescribed for people who are still drinking alcohol that will cause them to stop drinking. The following are medications used to treat alcoholism. Currently, there are only three medications approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of alcohol abuse and alcohol dependence. None of these medications are prescribed to people who are still drinking alcohol. They are only for those who have already stopped drinking and are trying to maintain abstinence. Drug number one, antabuse disulfiram as a drinking deterrent. Antabuse disulfiram was the first medicine approved for the treatment of alcohol abuse and alcohol dependence. It works by causing a severe adverse reaction when someone taking the medication consumes alcohol. Most people who take it will vomit after a drink of alcohol. This, in turn, is thought to create a deterrent to drinking. Drug number two, naltrexone for alcohol cravings. Naltrexone is sold under the brand names Revia and Depaid. An extended release, monthly injectable form of naltrexone is marketed under the trade. Name Vivitrol. It works by blocking in the brain the high that people experience when they drink alcohol or take opioids like heroin and cocaine. Drug number three. Camprol, a camprosate for discomfort. Camprol, a camprosate, is the most recent medication approved for the treatment of alcohol dependence or alcoholism in the U.S. It works by reducing the physical distress and emotional discomfort people usually experience when they quit drinking. Most research shows the effects of taking medications for 6 to 12 months. The benefit of longer-term use is less clear. But the more important question may be, is medication alone enough to stop a person from drinking? You can take medication, but if you don't change your behaviors, nothing else really changes. Medication is only as good as an individual's motivation for recovery. Counseling or psychotherapy might help some people. For others, regular follow-up with their primary doctor should be enough and can work.